assembly line, you know, the tire came by and he just gets it up, holds it, and just hugs it, you know, all excited. And uh, somebody reaches and get it out of his hand, you know, a big tear running down his face. And he looks, and here comes another one down the assembly line, so he's back smiling, you know. <laughs> that's, a, that's kind of the way I feel, you know. I'm sad today. We got a new bunch started, and so. But I'm sure it's not going to be like this group. Not all classes are the same, but I'm, uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this. All of you did well, and you had a good time. And I liked the fact that it was the size it was, you know, for example, kind of mingle with that. You know, though it's been a little aggravating with this COVID stuff, you know, I'll be glad when that's all says and done. It's really, really <laughs> aggravating and frustrating right now dealing with that, but mm -hmm. it's one of those things. But, uh, the same thing I got. Yeah, thing I got. That's what I call the fault. But uh, I wish y'all well. Wish you the best. And uh, I've got to say that, that I'm proud of every one of you. I really am. But uh, I know that we've had a couple of, uh, of uh, deaf students before, but I didn't get the privilege to. Uh, work with any of them. I did test the one lady for her CDL and she, she did very good. And, uh, so I knew Thomas was going to do well. And when, I, when I met him, I saw that you know, he, he had a lot of to grab and go with it. And he's, he's done very well. And uh, he's, uh, I commend him.
<laughs> well, Myron, I want to say that with all this COVID going on, every how y'all had your classes before, you know, I, I don't know how y'all did it, but coming in here with this uh, COVID and the way that y'all handled everything and, and the system that you had worked out was just as smooth. I mean, we would have never known anything was uh, any abnormal. We well, see, that's, that's, just, that's so, just Bob now, you know. We're, we're just and it, it worked out really well. You got everybody's uh, Hey, we just good. In. That's right, man. You know. okay. No, it, it has it changed. Really it has changed the way we do. Yeah, but, sure uh, has. But, uh, you know, it, it worked out, worked out good. So. Y'all are worth your $8.50. Uh, you are worth it. Write that down. I'm going to see if I can't get up to $9 today. <laughs> Boy, I'll leave yeah. And, uh, I'll get up to eight seventy five maybe. <laughs> I think you might already be ahead of me. Now. You just ain't told me. You know? I'm going to look in the book today. I'm going to get a cap for you. But uh, I do wish you all the best. And, uh, you know, like I say, if I can ever help in any way, and I know Bob feels the same way. See what we can do. You know, we love to hear from you too. When you get somewhere and get going, you know, let us know how things are going. <laughs> where, you, where you land. Yeah. <laughs>
they look at us like these women, okay, if they, they can do it, I can do it. Well, now, you were an inspiration. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thomas was my main motivation for this thing. But um, I want to share with y'all a, a little bit about myself and uh, the things. I've been through a lot in my life. I've, you're looking at a seven-time felon here. I got sent away from my family for a total of eight years. I've been incarcerated, and I've not been able to land a job at all. I got incarcerated due to guilty by association, hanging out with the wrong people. So now I have this paper, and I'm defined by what's on this paper. Nobody wants to give me a chance. So this is why I got into trucking. This is why I'm standing here today. This is the best $2,000 that I've spent because now I can make a difference for my family and give us the life that I know that we deserve. I can't go sit behind a desk. I can't go into daycare because this piece of paper is defining me, but that's not who I am. So I'm just grateful that I completed the class. I made it through it. We made it through it. And it's nothing but up from here. So this is why I, I'm so emotional. This is why I cry so much. This is why I love food, because I was gone for eight years. I didn't have any of this stuff. You know, but I had a support team behind me that's still behind me. That's my mom. And now I know I got friends here. So I would love to, if we can, exchange phone numbers. I would love to keep in touch with you guys. And, you know, I didn't want to share this with y'all in the beginning because I don't like for people... I want you to get to know me, not by, uh, you can't judge a book by its cover, so to speak. So if I'd have come in and told y'all guys at first, hey, I'm a felon, you know, this and that, I've been prison, this and that, you probably would have looked at me different. But here we are on the last day, graduation, and it's just time to go up from here. And y'all just keep me in your prayers. I love all of you, and just thank you for us being a team together throughout this nine-week course. Thank you, Now, I just want to tell you this, kid. You may have a piece of paper, but I speak mainly for myself, and probably every one of us in this room. We all deserve a piece of paper like that. The truth is not bad. Yeah. You know, none of us are perfect. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you've got to be able to overcome that. And, uh, yeah. don't, that doesn't define who you are. Right. <laughs> but uh, now I'm old and still do stupid stuff. But uh, I don't have stupid all my time did. But you know, we've all made mistakes and we've all had to learn. You know? Well, Jimmy, Jimmy, you know, you just pick yourself up, dust yourself up. Oh, like yeah, move, most move definitely. Off. Most definitely. But you see, if you look at it in the right manner, I think there's somebody down the road that you can. That somebody that hadn't been there couldn't do. Mm -hmm. Because you know what it's like. Right. You know, people say, I know I know how you feel, I know what you've been mm -hmm. through, but really they don't until they've been there. Right. right. I'm telling you, I got every bit of 20 no's doing applications. That's why I started so early. And I think I shared with John, I was like, Everybody's situation is not the same. And I wanted to go into detail and tell him, hey, I got, I'm a felon. And they're, they're not wanting to give me a chance just by this paper. But I said, if I can get just one yes, that's all I need. Just one yes. And then get my experience and show myself, prove myself that I can do this. Just give me a chance. Trust me. I got this. Just give me a chance. All it takes is one. So I finally got that one yes. So now I'm just like, okay, God, thank you. Thank you. So, you know, we just got to apply ourselves, and y'all can, we got this. Y'all just keep that in your head. And like I told y'all out there on the, on the uh, range last week, you can do all things. It's not some things. In the word, it says we can do all things, not some things. God didn't say we can do this, so you can do that, you can do this. He said you can do anything. You can do all things. So just keep that in your head while you're in that truck.
When you feel like giving up, just keep that in your head. You can do all things. You know, that's another good thing I, I love about my job. You get to know people and you, and you realize we're all humans. You know? We've all got things. You know? You've uh, experienced some of the stuff I've been going through. You know? mm -hmm. Let that show a little bit. You can't help it because we're human. Right, right. That's the way it is. But uh, you know, we don't, any of us, let that get us down or Keep us from doing what we need to do. Just gotta keep moving. Right. I mean, I know. Gotta talk, keep moving. I'm sure everybody's got, you know, stuff. Some of them you may not talk about, but um, I know uh, Dylan shared some things with me and probably most of y'all about uh, you know, things, how things were when he was growing up. And I gotta say, I don't mean to get emotional, but I do sometimes. That's <laughs> one of those things. Mm -hmm. I told my wife about him. You know, he's a, I'm proud of you, bud. Because <laughs> uh, you, know, you know, he's a, he's a young man, but he's got this thing figured out. Oh, I yeah. Got that kind of sense when I just, <laughs> Me either. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Stay in touch with each other because you've developed a little bond here that you can carry together through the rest of your life if, uh, if you so choose to do so. Now, uh, I've had some perfect attendance in here. There's, the college will give you eight hours, you know, from whatever, so before they really count that against you. So I've had some missed a little bit of time and then go over eight hours. So I've got four people in this class that had perfect attendance. A little certificate for them. Good job. <laughs> you, John. No, I don't think I don't think I don't think school bus. That school bus held you up, didn't it? Not today, got you. That's because it was 10 o'clock today. Yeah. yeah. That's Thomas Ray. Bus is gone. Thank you so 
whole bunch. You welcome. Changed my whole life, I'm telling you. New beginnings. Christopher Bell. Mm -hmm. Open this. Sure. I didn't know it was like a transcript. You know how some places be like, bring it unopened. It used to be that way. But then the uh, uh, DOT, DMV started putting it on a computer. So that way you just go in and tell them and they. So that, that was their fifth paper in the line, not their fifth. Oh, that's just their fifth. Oh, yeah. They already got some of them. Most of them aren't in their line. Yeah. Let me see what it looks like. It's just their scores and stuff. Yeah. That's a PTDI certified certificate. What does this F mean? <laughs> <laughs> The back page. The one I signed. y'all good job for everybody we made it time for the next new girl <laughs> yep. gotta get uh you gotta get out there on the road now i started uh, to find I, was, now. I decided against it i thought i'd let y'all sit here one more time oh okay. <laughs> yeah Mm. It did it. <laughs> it's hard to interpret when you hear like stories like that for us to be able to interpret it. When he gets emotional, I like. Yeah. Like she was interpreting for you. It's emotional. Thank you. Thank you. I don't. It's good to exercise all em emotions though. Anger, sadness, happiness. You gotta exercise all of it sometime. Thomas's wife is saying that she wants to get a group picture for him for with the teachers and everything and okay. all the students. Well graduation's over now, we'll have to charge for that. 